One of the hardest things about using Desmos is remembering to use Desmos. In school, your teacher would never let you use a calculator to solve something like this. They would make you do algebra. But basically, anytime you look at an equation now and you think, oh, this is gonna be a pain, trust that instinct. That's probably the best way to recognize that you don't wanna do that algebra, that it's difficult to do and maybe prone to mistakes. So when I look at this, I think, oh, I don't wanna do algebra. I've got uh, a fraction, I've got X's on both sides. So I'm instantly going to pull out my calculator and let my calculator solve this for me. So let's take a look here. We have X equals 108 divided by x minus 12, and we get a solution already at x equals negative six, but we want a positive solution. So just make sure that you recognize any special instructions because just because the calculator pops it out doesn't mean it's necessarily the answer. There must be a positive solution somewhere. If I scroll over, I see the line there. It looks like it's at 18, and if I was unsure, I could just scroll and zoom and see that, yeah, it's definitely at 18. Now, sometimes you can tap that point and it'll just tell you. The reason you can't hear, I think, has something to do with the fact that we have a um, fraction and the X is on the bottom, and so something about the way Desmos works it doesn't like that and it, it thinks you're like dividing by zero basically. And so it just won't give you that exact point. But again, zoom in, see what happens and you should be able to get it. But there is absolutely no reason to do algebra here. I'm not even gonna show you how to do the algebra because the calculator is so much better.